we're gonna be looking at how to use Runway's green screen feature, where you can isolate objects from their background. And it gives you the best result possible with very little time needed. And this is useful for video compositing tasks, replacing the background of a scene, adding text or motion graphics. Simply isolating an object from its background gives you all kinds of versatility. So let's get started. You can access the green screen from the Quick Links menu or from the Magic Tools section in SQL. The first step is to find the video clip you'd like to edit and then import it into the green screen editor. I have a couple videos that I'll just drag and drop into the editor to upload. And once uploaded, we'll drag it into the composition. I have a video of a runner stretching in front of a lake. There's a few things to keep in mind when determining how well a clip can work with the green screen. Like in this clip, I'm not tracking multiple things, I'm just targeting one subject that clearly contrasts with the environment around it and is very much a focus. It's one camera angle with smooth and consistent motion. There aren't any reflective objects. The subject doesn't leave the frame and doesn't have any wild action that might cause motion blur or make the subject hard to detect. And of course, the quality of the mask is tied to the quality of the clip. If clip quality suffers from the beginning, it would be much more challenging to get a good result. I'm gonna click on our subject we'd like to mask, and this will give us an initial mask that will be applied to the rest of the video. You can click multiple areas of the subject, which might yield a more precise result since you're giving Runway more information to detect. It's important to observe and identify what are the general colors or main visual attributes of our subject. Here, our subject is wearing black and yellow. The hair is also dark and almost silhouetted black. And then you also have her skin tone. I'm gonna click once in all three of these types of areas. And in a sense, I'm sort of covering my basis and making it clear that these distinct areas are all part of the same subject. Let's go ahead and click preview and see what would happen if we were to apply just this mask to the entire video. And so far, so good. The mask is mostly over the subject. There's no bleeding of the mask into the background but also there's parts of the subject that aren't being masked correctly. And as you see them, you can pause on that area and continue updating the mask. You can add more points to include or select parts of the clip to exclude. So if there's some of the background that we don't want, we can click through those areas to remove them and that will be indicated by a red dot. And if you ever want to remove a point, just click the point again to remove it. The goal of the mask editing process is to add just enough keyframes needed to help the model do a good job. And you can see with just the little time I put in, it's given me very accurate results. So I like my video and I'm gonna go ahead and export it. I'll rename my clip and set the background to a solid color. I can toggle the option to export my clip as an alpha channel, or if I export in ProRes or as a PNG sequence, the video will export with a transparent background. Let's move on to a more complex clip. So take a look at what I have here. I've selected my points to mask, and as I'm watching back the preview, I'm noticing stuff I have to fix. There's an area here I want to exclude, and I can toggle between include and exclude by hitting one and two on the keyboard. If there are areas of the image that I want to manually include, areas that might be a little harder to catch, I can use the mask brush to manually draw my mask. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in a little bit to get a little bit more precise, and zooming in can be done with the plus and minus key on your keyboard. So I'll pause and brush over the area I want. It will take what you brush and propagate it to future frames. Also with the mask brush, you can adjust the amount of feathering being applied, which creates softer edges. And depending on how you like to see your progress, you can adjust the view mode and the amount of background transparency it's displaying. So I'm happy with my mask, but there's more I want to do with this clip. You have options here that will insert your clip into a timeline, now that I have my masked subject on one layer, I'm gonna drag a new background that I uploaded underneath on the layer below it. So now I have two layers, on top is my subject and below it, my new background. And I'm liking how this is looking. And there's even more I wanna to touch up. I wanna match the lighting a little bit better. Runway has a bunch of effects and presets for you to use. And for this one, I'm going to apply some contrast to the background and then adjust the temperature and that's looking better. So once I'm happy with it, I'll export it. And when you hit export, it'll take you to the assets page where you can see the progress of your export. And this video export can take a few minutes, but once it's done, you'll be able to download it or share the clip by making it public and sharing the URL. And all your work is automatically saved, so if you wanna go back and make changes, you can do so by opening up the project from the project page. 
And that's a quick intro on how to use green screen and runway. We hope you found it helpful and we're excited to see what you create.